Good evening, here's our top story. Pope Benedict came under criticism this week for a speech he made linking atheism to Nazis. The Pope then apologized, saying it was wrong to make such a hurtful comment about Nazis. <laughs> a Wall Street Journal survey revealed, released this week showed that employers are now more interested in state school graduates than in Ivy League graduates, which explains why most job interviews now include beer pong. <laughs> The so-called underwear bomber who tried to blow up a jet on Christmas told the presiding judge in his case Monday that he plans to represent himself. Explain the underwear bomber. <laughs> I'll be acting as my uh, own lawyer, even though I, I have no legal training. But I do have excellent briefs. <laughs> <laughs> The trap Chilean miners celebrated their country's bicentennial. You're cool people. Very cool people. You spend a month on the ground, we'll see how you like it. <clears throat> anyway, they celebrated their country's bicentennial this weekend when they were supplied with a traditional holiday meal except for red wine. Rescue workers refused to send the men wine because they don't serve alcohol to miners. <laughs> <laughs> Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski, who lost last month's Republican primary, will run in November as a write-in candidate. Experts believe she will have a difficult time winning, mainly because Alaskans don't know how to write. <laughs> this week, Mexico celebrated the 200th anniversary of its independence from Spain. But not nearly as much as Spain celebrated. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're hard news meets Hollywood. Here with the entertainment news is our own Pepper Jenkins. <laughs>
turn 64 on Wednesday. At least that's what they want you to believe. <laughs> An Ohio teen has pleaded guilty to animal cruelty charges after he beat an alpaca, commented the teen. Yeah, I beat that alpaca and I'd do it again after what those guys did to us on 9-11. <laughs> what? <laughs> alpaca, not alpaca? <laughs> An alpaca is a llama-like animal and capable of plotting a terrorist attack. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> now truer words have never been spoken. New research shows that swimming in indoor pools may result in DNA damage that could lead to cancer. It may also result in accidentally drinking a gallon of urine. <laughs> Guilty as charged. A new study reveals that people who are popular tend to catch the flu first, and that people who are unpopular tend to be Democrats. <laughs> a Miami hospital is being sued on the grounds that one of its doctors gave a baby boy a circumcision by accident, responded the doctor. Oops, my mistake. <laughs> hey, at least they still gave me a tip. <laughs> but seriously, folks, those parents are pretty snippy. Around the office, I'm known as a big cut-up. <laughs> Foreskin! <laughs> New information suggests that teens with bad acne are at a greater risk of having suicidal thoughts than their peers, unless their peers are fans of Morrissey. <laughs> According to a new study, men are less knowledgeable about global warming than women. The study also found that Sarah Palin is a man. <laughs> Firefighters in Oregon rescued a camel from a sinkhole on Wednesday, or as they call it, hump day. <laughs> and now with an in-depth look at one of the week's big stories is a segment that's twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn, and TSW 720. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa, and you fine-ass Latin man. <laughs> this week, the New York Jets faced allegations of sexual harassment by Jet players against the female reporter Inez Sines. Here to comment is New York Jets coach Rex Ryan. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Yeah, suck it, Patriots! Hey, Thanks folks. for being here, Coach Ryan. Now, so, uh, how's your team responding to these charges? Well, uh, Philip, when I heard what happened, I sat down with my men, and I talked to them like men. And I talked to them about being gentlemen and how to interact with the opposite sex. So, good. Why did you tell us? Well, first I said, you need to create a pleasant work environment for a woman. Nice. So try shouting out cat calls, women love it. <laughs> there isn't a nicer way to say, hey, I respect you, and really enjoy looking at your hot body, and maybe someday, we could have the sex. <laughs> okay, to be honest, that doesn't really sound like something a gentleman would do. Well, I think you're wrong. Okay. And second, we talked about equality. Now, equality is important. Yes, because in the workplace, men and women, they're equal. All right? Very true. And so it doesn't matter how hot they are. So if a woman chooses to be a hot Mexican news reporter like Inez Sines, who's so incredibly hot and has such an amazing body that is accentuated by tight clothing, which is only made tighter when she drops her microphone and bends over to pick it up every day. So what? She's equal and deserves respect. You know, you keep speaking of respect, Coach Ryan, but uh, these values don't really seem respectful, what you're talking about. Well, I mean, what better way to show a woman respect than to talk about her body, particularly her breasts? Although, don't call them breasts, that's offensive. Instead, use words like boobs, or jugs, or knockers. And then, you know, talk about their hobbies, and their work, and whatnot, blah, blah. 